Okay, hey guys. Uh, yes, I'm in a different place because all my reptiles are spewed about below me. You'll see that in a minute because next to that window, I'm putting a rack in and they're all going to go up there. Because yes, I have gotten a lot more since I last updated you guys. <laughs> uh, so, for one, um, I'm going to show you a feeding as best as I can out of three of my four reptiles because one of my reptiles I don't take out to feed. He doesn't like to be fed by like tongs and by people. He likes to just eat on his own. But I have two snakes to feed and a leopard gecko. So I have to tell you if you don't like my like dead mice, uh, please skip ahead a couple of minutes. I will try to remember to put a time right here. Sorry if I keep looking over here because that's where my viewfinder is and I want to make sure I don't look like a dingus. So uh, yeah, I know I have like a giant like bald spot right there. We're not going to pay attention to it. But yeah, I'll try to remember to put a timestamp in to when it ends so that you can just see that. <laughs> But uh, first I will show you feeding my gecko and then I'll go to the snakes. So he only eats crickets, so that's fine. You know, it's not like a dead animal or anything. So yeah, <laughs> I just had to warn you and do kind of an opening for this. So yes, okay. <laughs> uh, so I will see you in a little bit when I'm in the kitchen. Hey guys, so update on my animals eating. My gecko did eat, it just took him a minute to find the crickets and for some reason he didn't want to take them off the tongs today. I even tried after I stopped the recording. Uh, my little ball python, like always, she's a spectacular eater. She's actually started on her second mouse right now. I have them sitting over right there. Uh, my sunbeam would not eat. He would always kind of like open his mouth to like take it, but then he would never take it. And uh, one time he opened his mouth and like pushed it around. I think I actually got that on camera. Uh, you'll just have to look for it, you know, if you want to go back and look for it or, you know. Uh, so I just laid both mice down in there with him and I'm hoping he'll eat it. But if not, you know, maybe next week when he's actually like hungry, he'll be like, oh, I need to eat. So that is what I'm hoping. But yeah, that's the update on them. So now I'm just waiting for them, for my ball python to be done. And once she's done, I'm kind of giving up on prism because by then, you know, I sat out there. Sorry if you can hear my dogs now that I'm downstairs, you can hear them really well. Uh, oh, go close that door, hold on. Okay, that's no better really, but yeah, I know, they're very loud when they play. Uh, so yeah, by the time my little ball python gets done, I'm giving up on Prism. So yeah, and then I'll put them in their tanks, but while they're eating, that is why I have on gloves because I will be doing maintenance on their tanks. So I have this bowl to dump their water in because I need to change that. And then I'll take the camera and I'll go clean their water bowls and all that, you know. And today I'm just spot cleaning. I'm not doing a full cleaning, just, you know, spot cleaning. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> Here we go, I gotta turn off manually, <laughs> so I can't do weird transitions like that. Yay! And I'm a horrible editor, so you know I won't edit this. Okay, so hey guys, uh, for some reason on the video, yeah, it's darkening this, it's actually really bright. So if I remember, like I said, I'm a horrible editor, <laughs> so if I remember, I will try to brighten the video. Uh, so my ball python's tank, this is her tank, I know, very boring. Uh, I already spot cleaned it the other day, so I won't really be doing that much cleaning. And I'll try to get as much of this in frame as I can. So for her, I just use this Tupperware bowl. She doesn't care, I don't care, you know. Uh, and then for like her spot cleaning, like I'll pick up her tree and there's actually some sp 
spicy meatballs right there. So I'll get that, I'll kind of, you know, move around her substrate a little bit. And, you know, like her fake plants, I'll kind of pick up a little bit, move around. Uh, you can't actually see all of her tank because I couldn't get it in frame because it's like really big. Like, yeah, like from here where you can see my hand, there's about like six inches left of tank that you can't see. So, sorry about that, but yeah. And I'm a horrible filmer as well as editor, so sorry. <laughs> But, uh, I actually need to get behind the computer. Sorry if you could hear that clink against the computer. Not computer, camera. And sorry if you just got, like, an epic shot of my armpit. So, yeah. So, her tank is clean. So, I'll see you at the next one. So, this is my leopard gecko tank. Yeah, I try to show most of the tanks, but... The zooming in and out feature on my camera is not the best because seriously his tank is like a 10 gallon tank and right here you can't even see all of it. So yay! And you can't see in it that well either, but yeah. And don't come at me in the comments like you need to add this and that and upgrade his tank. I'm not going to change it. He's been in here for a while. I take him out all the time. He doesn't move. <laughs> you know, like, he'll stay in one spot. He doesn't even move from end to end in the tank. So, don't come at me in the comments if you're one of these people who are always like, oh, let me get that out of your way. <laughs> who are always like, add this, add that, change this. Yeah, just don't, because I'm not going to listen. But uh, my battery is actually close to dying on my camera, so if it dies, I'm sorry. <laughs> so his, I really have to spot clean a lot because I have not cleaned in a while. He actually really likes these worms. So there's some leopard gecko eating. Yes, I did put a worm in his tank the other day and it burrowed away and I couldn't find it. I just found it, so I gave it to him. Yeah, there's like a lot of stuff in his tank over here. That's one thing I like about my leopard gecko. I don't know if all do this, but he has like one spot he goes to the bathroom. <laughs> so I never really have to look around his tank very much. Okay, so there's that, so now I'll just put all his stuff back in. <laughs> I just touched him and he like launched to the side, so yeah. Oh, yeah, I have to put his water bowl and stuff back, that's right. So yes, I do have his water bowl back here, which I'm actually going to switch out with Nova's. He's over there. And Nova, as well as Prism, I will put pictures up because he's probably not out of his tank. So yes, and I'm actually going to go and charge my camera a little bit, and then I'll be back. So see you in a little bit. Okay, so another little update. No, Prism did not eat. 
uh, I just put him back in his tank. So maybe next week, you know, when he's gone like three weeks without eating, maybe then he'll be hungry. So I'll give you updates in the future if I remember, but as for right now, he did not eat and he has not eaten. So yeah. <laughs> Um, so that's that, and then I wanted to give a little kind of story about my last reptile video of setting up a Chinese water dragon tank. Sorry, I'm like balancing this thing on like one little peg of its like tripod, so it's kind of wobbly. <laughs> um, so I ended up getting rid of him because he was very aggressive and very wild. And I could just not give him proper care because, you know, every time I would open the tank, he would bolt out. And I have not been bitten by a lot of reptiles. So I, it kind of freaks me out when they bite me because I'm not used to it yet. Yay! So every time I would reach in to touch him, I would be very scared because he would bite me and, you know, thrash around like that, which, you know, really tears your skin up. So, yeah, I ended up getting rid of him, giving him to someone who could actually take proper care of him. So, yeah. So that's how that is, but I've repurposed his tank to my little fire skink, Nova. And you will see him in a little bit, but right now I'm going to be cleaning Prism's tank. So, here we go! <laughs> So obviously there's not a lot in his tank, legit, it's just that, and his water bowl. Uh, again, it zooms in and like darkens it, so I will hopefully remember to toy with this. But obviously his tank does not need that much maintenance, because obviously he has not used the restroom, because he has not eaten. So yeah, so I'll just take out his water bowl. It did spill today when I was moving them down here. So, yeah. So that's why there's no water in it. Don't think I'm not giving him water, I am. Uh, he might be down in here still. Nope, he's burrowed down. I have about six inches of substrate in here and it's like very, very wet. <laughs> As you can see on his uh, hydrometer, his humidity is 99%, <laughs> which is very, very humid, by the way. <laughs> so yes, because they actually live in rice paddies, so <laughs> he's used to living in wet stuff, you know, substrate. So he needs lots and lots of humidity. So, yeah, so don't tell me to put any leaves or anything in here because this I'm actually planning on taking out because he does not use it at all. He barely uses his water bowl. Uh, he legit only stays underneath the substrate 99% of the time, <laughs> unless I obviously get him out. <laughs> so, yeah, don't tell me to put anything in here because he will not use it anyways. He is a burrowing species. He will never come up to the surface and crawl around. So don't tell me to add anything to his tank. So one more animal and my camera is still dying because I only let it charge for like three minutes. So I'm not going to show you me cleaning their water bowls. I will just be back after next cage is clean. I will just be back to uh, give you an update on what I done and all that because I did plan on videoing me changing something up in my reptile tanks, but I will just explain that in the future. So, see ya. Okay, hey guys. Uh, so my camera actually died in the middle of filming my little fire skinks tank. So real quick, I'll explain this. I'll put pictures up of him because Again, he's a burrowing species, just like Prism, so he's not out, and I can't show him to you. So, put up pictures of him now. Um, so, what happened is, well, my camera was dead. I actually went and cleaned their water bowls and did my little maintenance stuff. So, I'll just show you the finished product 
real quick of like what I switched around and stuff. So with his tank, I actually gave him Leo's water bowl and gave Leo his former food dish because these worms are too big because like I can grab one real quick and uh, that's how big they are. They're very big. Uh, sorry if you could just hear my necklace is clanking around but they are too big for his little food dish so I put them in Leo's water bowl and until I get some other you know mealworms or something Leo will be using his food bowl as a water bowl instead. So that is all I did. I cleaned their water bowls, filled them back up, stuff like that. Uh, sorry for how <laughs> splotchy this video was and if it was horrible. <laughs> so I'm gonna go let my camera charge and I'm gonna go edit this and then I'm gonna upload it. So I'll see y'all later.